All right, so look. Here's the deal. Lake Champlain's right there. It's beautiful. Missacoy Bay. It's gonna go down. This looks like this is because normally him and I are on a team together. We've done that a lot. Yeah. Last time we fished together, I think we kicked that tail. Then I fished against you. Hush him out. Hush him out. Hush him out. But today it's not going to He's happen. wanting redemption. He's wanting redemption. I do want redemption. <laughs> He'd have called in the recruits. <laughs> it isn't it. And here's the interesting, I love dynamics on this one because 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 Brian is like jig, hardcore, like power fisherman. You're a hardcore. You're like an egg bulldog. And and, and Ryan and I are like similar because we're like versatile. Like we, we might Grinders. venture off and do do some small mouth. We may be flipping. Like we'll do all kind of weird stuff. But so me, he told me, I can't, I've been coming up here since 2007. I love Champlain. And he told me we're all largemouth. Because I don't ever catch largemouth hardly. So he tricked and now he's, now he's changing. He yeah. <laughs> I said, no, we're going to largemouth fish in Missacoy. And you get to fish with Dirty Jake. And he said, he sold I'll, I'll, beat I'm, I'm coming. I'll beat it. And pike do not count. OK? Let's clarify that. We, we can count smallmouth or largemouth. OK. OK? But we got all day to do it. What about spotted bass? If you catch I one, got a big you get double river points. spot in the live well. Catch one, you get double points. <laughs> catch one, it's over. It's That's over. right. It's over. So let's get these boats in the water, guys. Let's get this challenge started. Five fish challenge today. All right, buddy. I love it. Good luck, right, guys. Dude. Good luck. Let's go. Let's, let's get them, dude. Em. It's right. us. Let's go. Here, it's been many a times I fished this little zone. It's been good. I don't have any of my waypoints, but you know, each little rock that's like the little special little rocks. Obviously, if we had the waypoints, I would know exactly, but I can get close. Oh, definitely. And with the live scope, we can just look over and go, oh, yeah, there, there they are. What's up there, Rocky? Every little rock's got a special place in your heart. We're on your waters, man. Tell us what we're going to be doing. Fishing rock, grass. A little bit of flipping, chatterbait. Yeah. Do they mix out here and get large mouth and small mouth? Get both. Yeah. Okay. That's the cool thing about Champlain. I mean, you could have a 20 pound bag of small mouth and a 20 pound bag of large mouth in the same day. Not yeah. many places in the country you can do that. No. That one hit it hard, but it's a, it might be a bass. Fish on, Scotty boy. It's a pike. <laughs> and you can have 20 pounds of pike in the same day. Big in here, dude. Great big in, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. He's the way he's fighting it. He bit my shirt. <laughs> Turn the live wheels on. I gotta hide it from Scotty Boy. He's getting in the box. No. Nah, it's a pike. <laughs> gotta be, isn't it? Yeah. How big was that one? About two pounds? About four. Three and three quarter. Three and three quarter, both in. Oh, there's a bite. Got him. Still big. I just don't know what species. It's a pike. No, it's a bass. That's a bass, huh? Yeah, they better grow up. Yeah. First lid. Because I think they're catching pike over there, dude. And then Canterbury, he's a trickster. He's a trickster. We'll he's stick him in the little, box for right now. A pike hole. We'll stick him in the box for right now. Mm -hmm. We'll weigh him in a little bit. That that's a special fish, guys. A quick quick story. I won an FLW tournament right here. There we go. There we go. There's some weight to that one. There we go. Oh, nice boil. Nice one, dude. Nice one too. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Boys are gonna have their work cut out for them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's get it. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Come on, boys! Hey! <laughs> Let's get it. I just made him mad. Hey, we can get under his skin. That's how we beat Canterbury. Oh, He'll get all quiet in a minute. 
He won't talk anymore. He'll He's just get all get quiet. Up on the pad and like be like, "What's going on here?" Small mouth. Nice. Small mouth. Yeah. Smally. Bam. Bam. A little mixed bag. A little football. A little season. mixed bag. Brian would rather catch panfish than bass, and he calls himself a bass master here. So Captain Brian's got another thing coming. I think they've got three in the box, so uh, it's all good. We're not worried. We're going to catch several. We just we're looking for big ones. No bites till now. Large man. I'll take it. I spot lock. Number two, boys. Put him in the little side. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Good one. Better fish? Yes, sir. Boxing him? Yeah. Yeah, box. Man, that one's got some weight. Oh, oh it's a big one. Big one. <laughs> Very good, dude. Let's get it. We came back down here to where, this is where we got the other two bites. Three bites. And you had one smallmouth up the way a little bit. Boys are gonna have to work today. You know, I saw those fish on the panoptics, dude. That was that little hot spot in the grass. As soon as we crossed. Yeah. There was at least three of them. There we go. Got him. There we go. Yeah. Uh-oh. We got a runner. We got a runner, boys. We got a runner. Oh. That's our limit right there. That's the limit fish. <laughs> Get them all spun out. Got them all spun out, boys. That's right, Canterbury. I love it. That's right, Canterbury. We should have a little side bet, Canterbury. Oh, something. 100%. We'll do that if we end up making this a two parter. Yep. Which I'm thinking it's probably going to be. There's going to be a little side bet between me and old yep. Sea Dog. Oh, we'll do the same. Sea Dog and I. So this flat right here about two and a half feet deep, a lot of grass. It's the mouth of a river. This Mississippi River dumps into this bay. And so year after year of big floods, it washes these logs out on these flats. And you can see these logs that are stuck here. A lot of these logs have been here year after year. And every year there's a couple new ones too. And when they've sat there that long, it waters out a clean spot where there's hardly any grass around where that log's sitting. And those bass just, it's like a magnet. Sometimes, and it hadn't happened yet, you can pull up to a log like that in two foot of water and catch three or four fish off one log. It's pretty cool how these fish will relate to that, that hard structure. And really on Champlain, the secret to it is just finding a hard structure. If you're in grass, find something hard in the grass. If, if, you know, if, if you're on nothing but hard, then find a little bit of grass. You know, it's like find one of the, the opposite of what you're doing and you'll, you'll catch them. I'm about to call our shot. This, this deal right here, I mean, it doesn't look any better. When you're on Champlain, you got something that looks like that, you fish it. <laughs> I went right in for the heart of it. He didn't even work his way in. He said, I'm going right to the dead center. Oh, oh baby. Oh. Here we call our, let's go. Golly. Dude, that's awesome. That is awesome. There we go. That's why we yank you from Florida and bring you up here to champ. <laughs> I threw over that log, dude. I never felt the bite. I just kept lifting it up and it was like spongy. And then I felt it doing yep. this. Yep. He went up like, stick him in the box. Let me show you my setup, guys. Pretty simple, actually. About the most simple setup, you know, like you talk about, you know, trying to explain to somebody how to fish something or how to rig something up. This is like the easiest thing in the world. So this is a lunker log by Guggen, Guggen Bates, okay? You get a lunker log, pack a lunker, five inch, okay? You get some 17 pound P-line, spool it up on your bait caster. Nothing too heavy as far as rod. Take a 
Take an EWG style hook like I have here, three aught, and you Texas rig this thing just like this. Boom, weightless. But this lunker log has a lot of salt in it, so it makes it sink because of the salt. Rig it just like that. There we go, there's my setup. And you just cast it out. And you just let it sit there. And just let it sink to the bottom. Don't pull your line, just let it sink. And then lift up on it, check it, move it a little bit, and do it again. And when one gets it, it just, you gone. It's that easy. Very good fish. A chunk. Go oh, swim in the Canterbury compact. A little better. We'll take Chunky it. Chunky here. They gonna have to get with it. Yeah, but hang on. That's one of the right ones. No. He definitely built right. We got one on that side and four over here. So that's five. This is the Canterbury Flipping Jig Compact Series. I'm, I'm, I fell in love with the Compact. I really like it. Comes through cover just like the regular Canterbury, but just threading a regular pocket chunk on it. Uh, my jig is nothing. I mean, it's just a standard jig. Chunks, soak them in bait fuel, baby. Yep. Not Better. The one, not the one, though. He'll help. He'll help? Like so? Yeah, we gotta be real close. Man. Ain't the one we want. Scotty boy, we coming. Yeah, two and a half. You got a two and a quarter. For a little while. Cruising around with it. Ooh. There you go. Bass? Yeah, it's a bass. Oh, that's Is that gonna nice pull one, us up dude. or what? I think so. I think so too. Oh, that's yeah. gotta. That's got to help. Heck Dark, yeah, dude. big nice. old green one. You called that too. Called you were like, right on the tip of that. You were like, right there. Right there by the little point. Right there by that little point. 213. That does it. 213, dude. Hell yeah. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha! yeah. They went in that creek. They went yep. up, up the creek a little ways. Yep, they did. And uh, there's some big ones in there, dude. Yeah, here's the thing. Like, we're catching a lot of fish, and I'm sure they're catching a lot of them too. But it's going to boil down to catching one, a couple difference couple. maker fish. Yep. And that. There you go. There's one. Oh, oh a yeah. solid one, too. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. That's dude. a better one. Good job. Swimming on. Oh, yeah. That'll help us. Yeah. Got him. All right. That'll Moving help. Moving on up like the Jefferson, baby. Moving on up. That's got to be over three. Oh, yeah. Nice back one. Oh, we caught one off the same tree what, earlier. 30 minutes ago? Mm -hmm. That's a, that's the best thing about Champlain is, man, it doesn't take long for them to reload anything. Whether it's a rock, a dock. Three, three. Yeah. Nice, dude. Good job. Got that's actually on up. definitely going to help us by about five ounces. All right, there we go. Very good. Dude, look how fast I'm going. 3.86 miles an hour on the trolling motor. That's basically four miles an hour trolling motoring. Okay, this is the Garmin Force, guys. And, and a lot of people have been asking me, like, well, what's the difference, right? I mean, there's been Codas out there, the Lawrence has one, Garmin has their Garmin Force. Here's the difference. Number one, brushless motor. Number two, because of brushless motors and me running the Lithium Pro batteries, my efficiency is so awesome. I get about a third more running time out of it. Again, the speed is so important. So just trolling around out of the bay like this saves me time. I don't have to idle my engine. If I'm in a high current situation, like on a river, like at uh, Pickwick and Kentucky Lake and some of those high current situations, the St. Lawrence this, uh, that I fish all the time, that having that extra power allows me to, to uh, uh, advance in the current. So important. The other thing that I did this year is just recently put on the longer shaft trolling motor. This is a 57 inch shaft and I went from a 48 to a 57. The reason I did that is because up here on these northern waters, uh, you know, you have really rough days, a lot of wind blowing, and I want to be able to make sure that my prop will stay in the water locked up with my Garmin Live Scope. So I have that longer shaft trolling motor, and it's really good. So guys, if uh, 
If you're needing a trolling motor, you want to up your game on the trolling motor because it really does make a difference. Check out the Grumman Force. Pretty awesome stuff. I got to show you guys something special about this frog. I don't know what it quite is, but it seems to have Brian LaBelle's name on the bottom of it. <laughs> Magically, I don't know who did it, but a bass is going to eat Brian today. Here we go. Oh, oh yeah. Oh! Right. Nice. Got him. I'm putting it on Instagram. There you go. There you go. Right there. Eat it. Eat uh -huh. it. Eat me. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> we, don't, we don't need him. We don't need him. We can do better. Champlain, baby. Does it's it better champlain. now. Look at, look at, would you just look at this? Look at this right here. Oh, oh yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. By the way, guys, speaking of Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook, be sure to jump over and check out Scott Martin Challenge on Instagram on Facebook as well as YouTube because we got a lot of cool stuff going on. So uh, when you get done watching the show, if you get your phone in your hand right now, just pull it out, search for it, check it out, follow us, and also give Ryan a follow as well. What's your Instagram? So my Instagram is rtlatinville9. We're Champs Charter Service. You can't find us under that name yet, but yeah. rtlatinville9. He guides up here year-round, except when there's probably ice on the water. Yeah, this place gets a foot of ice. You ever guide like on the ice? Like the no, ice I know guides? some guys that do it. I no? just, I'm, I, I, I'm a summer guy. I, I, I'm trying to get to Florida in the winter. <laughs> no, he catches a lot of fish. I've known around for a long time, so you guys get a chance to come up here to Lake Champlain or any, any really any any of these lakes up here in this region, you need to give Ryan a call. Yeah, we've got places to stay. We've got Marine Village Cottages. You can stay with us yep. up there. Uh, my family owns that, and then we've got uh, we can set you up with other captains if you got big parties. We got Brian, Captain Brian, who are, is our nemesis today. But he's a great angler and he's gonna he can set you up as well. Awesome. There you, so you think there'll be one right here on the end? A little better. They're chunky when you get one. Two and a half. Two and a quarter. I think that's our cool. Yellow. We caught a couple of nice ones. I figured that would mess y'all up. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in a minute. They're in that bay. They're getting itchy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go do a little. Let's go do a little checkup on them. He catches so many fish, dude. And that's the thing. It's like. 30 minute show, we can't fit it all in, dude. No, no. We could like do the whole SMC season up here. Up here on Champlain. Yeah. Ah, there you are. Why are you fishing my tree, man? Thank you, washing us out. We ran all, right the, here. all the way up here to fish that tree and look who it is. Oh my gosh. What was that? Why are y'all hiding, man? I know y'all have caught a bunch. We watched y'all catch five or six. Oh, we've caught a lot of fish. Yeah. And there's been some pretty good ones caught. You're yeah. about to catch another one right now, I think. Dude, that was so much fun earlier. We caught so many fish off those, those laydowns out yeah. there in the middle and on the reef. And I know they've caught some fish. It's, it, you know, if we wait in right now, I think we'd get them. I think we'd get them by just a smidgen. It's going to be close. You know, we got. Bluebird skies, a lot of sunshine now. I mean, I think those dots could be a player now. So, uh, yeah, a lot better. Let's hit eight or ten of them and see, and then we'll go catch some small We'll Sounds break good. it up. Yeah, absolutely. Get over those undercut banks. Yeah, I could see him sitting there. You got him? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a good one. Smallmouth. Smallmouth. That's Smallmouth, good. dude. That's yeah. awesome. I saw him on the live scope. Oh, you so lucky. They so lucky. Got him. Oh, it's a good one. Nice one, dude. Look at that one. Yeah. It's a good fish right there. Might help us a little bit. Moving on up. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Lake Champlain. That's what's so cool about Lake Champlain is that you can literally put a jig in your hand, 
go catch a nice large mouth. Put a drop shot in your hand, go catch a nice small mouth. It's just, it's like some of the best fishing in the world. That's gonna help us buy a looks, little bit. If it looks good, it is good. That's awesome, dude. They went right by this. I guarantee you they fished it. But that fish, dude, was way up in that corner. It's like undercut right there. All right, we'll weigh this one and we'll keep chipping away at it. How you like that one, old Canterbury? Maybe not. We'll take them. That's why we That's came here. That's one of the ones we need. That's why we came here. That's one of the ones we need. That's more like it. We'll take it. Oop, I just got bet too. Dude, got it. He's got, got me wrapped up, dude. Did he? Oh my. Got him pinned. I can still feel him. I can still feel him. There he is. Got him. Got him, dude. Oh, it's a smallmouth, bro. Smallmouth. Oh giant. Oh my gosh, he jumped over the limbs there. Oh my god. Got him. Bam! That's what I'm talking about. Look at this crap. Look at this. <laughs> Dude, and the best part is they were just fishing this. We literally turned and caught one over there. Catch a small mouth on this side. We lost that other small mouth on that other on tree. On the other side. It came up tight, Dude, this, tight to the bank. That's so cool. 17 pound line, flipping stick, in a creek, flipping small mouth. That is awesome. Doesn't get any better than that. Oh, dude. One. Can you lift him? Yeah, I'll flip him. I'll lift him. You gonna flip him? That's another one. Oh, them big sides getting better. Good job, dude. Nice one. We're getting there. We're getting there. Scotty boy. <laughs> we can come back in here if we need to later on. We need to keep Canterbury and LaBelle quiet. And the oh, way yeah. to do that is with biggins. We're gonna run back out and fish some open water. Uh, on, a, on some rocks and stuff, and then, you know, that's the thing. You gotta fish the conditions here on Champlain, so you have to watch the wind, you have to see what the wind's doing, water clarity, et cetera, and then make your decisions. But you can go catch it. You can go catch a big bag of smallmouth, or you can go catch a big bag of largemouth, or you can mix bag it like we're about to do. Maybe. Oh, acting like a bass. Yep, bass. A little upgrade? Might. It's a good chunky fish. That's Daddy. awesome. Right there, boys. Coming for you guys. <laughs> the boys better caught them good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Canterbury. Little bitty hooks, little bitty baits. Bait fuel's a big part, you know, smallmouth. They, the scent for these smallmouth, I mean. We're using scent on everything, but smallmouth really prefer a scent. Good one? Oh, yeah. You better lift that one? Yeah. I believe that one will cool. Just take your time. Oh, yeah. Three something. I think so. Better fish. That's a pretty fish. Three, five. Good smallmouth. All right, we got one more under three. Good job. Catch another, dude. Keep going. There you go. There you go. Oh, oh it's a big one. Big large mouth? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. what? What? Oh. Came off. What? God, I had him pinned. Dude! Man. Dude! I had him pinned. Oh. Well, maybe we can get another one. We can get him. That's a good sign. They like right around that five to six. And if you get up there, it's it shallow. Got one? Yeah. Oh, it's a nice one, too. 
Good one. Slow rolling that chatterbait, dude. Yeah. There we go. Let's get it. <laughs> nice fish right there. Like Champlain, but we still haven't even made the move yet to go try smallmouth. We may not. But that's right there, a good chunky fish. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, I think he's dead or something. It's a good yeah. one. Good one, or? Yeah. But he just came up, he didn't do nothing, didn't fight. I don't know if he's three pounds or not. I thought he was. Yeah. These smallmouth must have just got through spawning because they're just they're just thin right now. They hadn't fed back up. That fish didn't even fight. Fish is uh, it's three three. I'm gonna balance him out with that three two and see. That largemouth is so chunky, but that smallmouth weighed an ounce more, and it's, you can tell it. Chunk. See how healthy those are. That's a beautiful, beautiful fish. Begging? Yeah, that may be a good one. Feels good. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Right here's them rocks I was talking about. There's another one with it, ain't there? No. Uh, no. Thought he was getting ready. Ah. That's a good one. <laughs> good fish. That's a He's hooked up again. I gotta get her busy. Begging? Yep. That's a good one, I think. <laughs> nah. No. I don't think. Like a hump back. Yeah, he looked wide in the water with the hump back there that he's got. Three, three. I'm gonna throw him back. Yeah. He was hooked in the tongue a little bit. Got one begging. Oh, really? Nice. Oh yeah. Careful, dude. Those are the ones. I think you got it. Oh my god, you're making me nervous. I can't look. Got it. That's got to be three something. Here. Three something. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Got it. Three one. All right, we'll take it. Three one. That moves us up almost what three ounces? Yeah. Yeah. Three one. He was that was first cast. See, we gave him a little time to regroup. Got him. Yeah. Nice. Should, should be a good one. Nice one. Nice one. Oh yeah, nice fish. Nice one. Oh golly, dude. There's more with him. There was I just saw one with him. I think I did. Golly, that thing jumped high, bro. Golly, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Finally. That'll there we help. go. That'll help. That helps the cause. Dude, that little Ned rig right there. Rattling Ned. Good job, dude, bro. That's a nice one right there, guys. Big old fat smallie. That helps a lot. I don't know. I haven't seen the boys in a while. I don't know where they are, man. And the thing is, I know this about Canterbury. If they, I know they were fishing docks, dude, and he gets on a little roll with that. And you said Brian likes to fish those docks, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm getting nervous. We got to beat him, dude. We got to. We got to beat him. We got to beat him with the brown ones because we know they're not going to go catch the brown ones. No way. One of the most important tools in fishing is a good quality fishing line, and that's why I use P-Line. I've been using it for years now, and this stuff is awesome. Let me show you some of my very favorite ones. Right here, this is the P-Line Tactical. It's what I use pretty much every single day on the Bassmaster Elite Tour. When I'm going for those big fish and heavy cover, the TCB X-Braid. This is eight carrier braid, gets the job done. I flip, I throw chatterbaits with it, do all my power fishing here in Florida with this braid right here has Teflon coating on it, super smooth and super strong. Now, they've got some new stuff, which I'm really digging. It's the Spinex brand. It's the P-Line Spinex braid, as well as the fluorocarbon. This right here gets the job done when you're fishing with spinning rods. 
A lot of those big smallmouth tournaments that we have up north, this is what I'm using, the braid with the fluorocarbon leader. Gets the job done big time on those big smallmouth. Now, saltwater fishing, that right there, the Sensei. When I'm on the big boat down in the Keys doing saltwater fishing, this is the leader that I prefer. So guys, for the complete product list, be sure to check out pline.com. That's a big one. That's a big one. Yeah. That's a big That's dude. the one. Uh, could be a pike. I don't know what it is, dude. It's big. No, he's about to jump. Big old smallmouth. Gotta be. Just want to play him easy, dude, because I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if he's side hooked a little bit. Oh, big smallmouth. Big smallmouth. Big smallmouth. You gonna be able to grab him? Yeah, he looks big. I don't know if he's hooked funny. <laughs> Fatty. <laughs> yeah. Look at how fat that guy is. Woo! Dude, that's pretty good. That's pretty good right there. Where you been, Don? Where you been? That helps. Look at how wide that guy is. I know. Dude, he was hooked really good. I was afraid that he was hooked funny. Yeah. Nice. Fatty. <laughs> My bad. Y'all was heated. Look at look at these cats. He didn't know about this spot until right now. What time we calling it? Let's make it. We need to know how long we got, how far we want to run to catch another six. We'll fish till uh, what? 4:30. Yeah. One works. hour. Yeah. That's perfect. 4:30 at the ramp. 4:30. Yeah. Y'all got to be there at four. We'll be there at 4:30. No, 4:30 at the ramp. We got one hour left, and uh, acts like he's got them pretty good. You know, you got to have 20 pounds here to win, so uh, we're still one bite away. We're trying to get it right here in the grass. We're back to largemouth fishing. We put our heads down for an hour and see what we can do. Not him. Oh, that was him. I don't think so. That was a good one. Think so? I seen him. Oh yeah, I saw him. I didn't think he was that good. I thought it was three and a half or four. Barely it wasn't a giant. picked it. Huh? Barely picked it. Really? Barely. Yeah, he won't buy it again, I'm sure. Good. I thought you had him stuck good. A pretty good fit. I got him. Oh, he come off on mine! Oh my gosh, and I crossed his eyes. He ain't gonna buy it again now. That's the end of that. Yeah. What is his again. problem? Never in my life. And to flip in. Yeah. Look, at, what in the know. world is his bite bit three times now? Ain't no way that's the same fish. You think? I think so. That's what <laughs> that's, it looks like. That's crazy. That looks like him. Yeah. Oh yeah, three ten, three fourteen. We'll take it. Yeah, three almost a four pounder. That was a good help. Yeah. He wanted to go with us, that's for dang sure. There he is, nice. big one, dude. Nice. Oh, big oh, big oh. That was awesome, dude. Shamooed it. Watched him throw out there on the live scope, watched him come up to the bait. Oh my gosh, he's mad. Watched him come up to it and then start following it down. And I lifted up, dude, and he was on it. Like, I feel bad. It's like, it's taking forever. Hey, stay tuned next week. We're on a new lake, new challenge. Maybe we land this fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, I have eight pound line. I know people are watching this like, what are you doing, dude? This thing is mean, bro. Four pounder. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Yeah. Dude. There we go. There we go. We need right there, we there, go. Buddy. there we go. I don't even know what to say. All I can say is I'm glad he gave us another hour because that right there helps the cause. Oh, big time. Small big mouth time. and a cabbage. Dude, that's what has been biting us guys behind us. We should be sitting on a mega bag, but there's more here. There's more here. Garmin, live scope, that one's for you.
It's been fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fish. I don't know if we got enough or not, but they better have caught them is all I can say. Dude, was that crazy or what? It was good. It's worth the drive, man. Anytime I can come to Lake Champlain. This place is special to me. Yeah, I mean, it's like, Brian, it's like one of the only places that I've ever been where you can legit go out and crack big, large mouth and then turn right around and crack big, small mouth. The same day. Same day. We had a simple challenge, a five fish simple challenge, and we stretched it into a two-part episode. So everybody yeah. got to see part one, got to see all the craziness that we caught in part one, and then all the stuff that we did today in part two. So now, we got to say who's got what. So Tell me what you got. 17-2. Ooh. 17-2? I thought you didn't have them, man. No, I mean, I mean that might just be three or four of them, though. I don't know, maybe. But it's 17-2. 17, 17 yeah. Good job. We got Thank you. Thank you. our you fish. Got? We you got, got what you got? 1411. 1411. 1411. With, 14, four, 11. with four fish. So it's going to be close. Uh oh. There's the oh, one we hadn't weighed. Snap, dude. <laughs> that Boy, that's the one we hadn't weighed. All right. Oh my God. My Look. God. Five even, dude. Five even. Golly, hey, Five even. Exactly. On that one, dude. So that gives you 20 pounds, dude. Basically, 20 Nine, pounds. 1911. Oh, that's my a stud. Gosh. Dude, Brian, awesome, dude. <laughs> I, I mean, I was worried all day that if y'all were going to probably catch a couple big ones under those docks, because I know both of y'all with the jig in your hand, <laughs> somebody's going to catch a big one. But we just we kept trying to get some big smallmouth. We had to a couple big ones on. It was close, guys, but you guys win. Champions of Lake Champlain right there. Until next there you time. Go. Until next time. <laughs> Dang it, dude. Right. But I, hey, I, as I told him earlier, I said, look, if we get beat with largemouth, I'm okay because I'm out here catching the crap out of big <laughs> There you go. That's the right. three and a half and four pounders, I'm fine. I love I'm good. It. I love so, it. So, guys, that was an awesome day. Cannot wait to come back, guys. Thanks for watching the Scott Martin Challenge. You guys are the champions. We had a blast. Dude. Dang it, man. <laughs> Dang, dude. It All was right. fun. Good job. Five pounder, yeah. man. That's a giant. That's wow. a big one. That's a giant. Yeah. <laughs> I lost a five pounder. <laughs> Didn't I? Didn't I?